So today we're going to look at one of the biggest busts in MLB history, at least considered one of the biggest busts in MLB history. In 2013, the Astros drafted with the number one overall pick, Mark Appel, the pitcher, and it just, the rest from there just didn't really work out. Actually, they had back-to-back -back number one overall picks, and they actually don't have them in their team anymore. They went with Mark Appel and Brady Aiken, but we're going to talk about Mark Appel today, and we're going to try to re- do his career what if he wasn't a bust and i hope you do enjoy it of course if you do hit that thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel for new and enjoy the content and of course in the comment section let me know some other big mlb busts it doesn't have to be number one picks it doesn't have to be high picks just players who just maybe had a little bit of hype and they really didn't live up to it you know there's mark appel maybe someone like a josh hamilton just give me some names let me know down below so let's hop into it I tried to find a 2013, 2014 roster. There aren't any allowed, or not allowed, but there aren't any in the vault. I tried to find one that was maybe like a 2012 and then we'd sim a season, not there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw him in today's baseball. And I know he's actually trying to make a comeback. Currently he's with the Phillies in the Phillies organization. But yeah, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, we're gonna just, I don't know. We're gonna stay with the Astros, not stay with the Astros. We'll stay with the Astros for the whole time. We're going to let everything else just kind of be as is. And let's get into it. I'm going to let the CPU handle everything. We're just here to see how Mark Appel does in his career. Is it Appel? Is it Apple? Is it a Apple? I, it's not Apple. It can't be Apple, right? But it, it, I think it's Appel. I, I looked. I tried to find some pronunciations. I saw a lot of Appel. So I'm going to go with that. So we have Mark Appel at 21 years old. 65 overall i tried to look at some of his stats from college and like maybe early on in the minors and it looked like he kind of gave up quite a few hits and on top of that you know i tried to find some other stats where it just didn't make him too good from the start but somewhere to kind of work with it so this is what we have here i also found someone's um uh, creation of him in the roster vault so i took that i kind of edited it a little bit to kind of fit more of a just out of college situation so this is what we got 65 overall 21 years old and let's see if we can make him a really good baseball player so what i'm thinking here is even though i let the cpu handle everything yeah i'm gonna let him do that so maybe he sits in triple a or a single a for the season let's just get to the regular season let's see if they put him in triple a or not let's see where he is he is going to be in single a for the season they might move him around somewhere depending on how things go but for right now this is what we have for Mark Appel. I don't assume he has any quirks. We're going to leave it like this. So let's see how the season plays out. Maybe we'll see him once he starts getting into the minors. Well, let's just hop into it. So with the first season in the books, I wanted to take a look and see where Mark Appel kind of finished. So he's still in single A and he's actually jumped up to a 69 overall. He's got A potential. I mean, everything's looking nice. All right. Like everything's looking pretty good. The control's good. The, the per nines, the hits per nines are kind of the big thing that I'd be worried about with him. But um, outside of that, it looks pretty good. He does have 99 potential, so that is something that I did. If you're a number one overall pick, that's kind of what you're expected to have. And this is what we have so far. So I'm not going to mess with that anymore. I want to see where he ends up. I'm not really worried about the Astros. I'm all worried about Mark Capel. So let's keep going. That's only season one in the books. I mean, it's got to get better, right? All right, season two, it looks like he's going to start in double A this year. And he's actually a top prospect. I'm kind of interested to see where he is on the top prospects where is he where is he he is 24 he's actually kind of mirroring forrest whitley which interesting i mean you can kind of see the comparisons between the two i actually didn't know forrest whitley was six seven forrest whitley's another guy man he's really struggling with like injuries and just putting it together for his like career which sucks but um i mentioned that i think i mentioned that the astros had uh three first round picks in a row and they went with correa Brady Aiken was the year after Mark Appel. So it went Correa, Appel, and Brady Aiken. I believe, I believe that's how it went. And I'm, I got to look this up because I feel like they had quite a few, quite a few picks in a row. So yeah, let me, let me pull this up. So yeah, 2014, Brady Aiken to the Astros, 2013, Mark Appel, and 2012, Carlos Correa. And 
Correa is the only one that's with the Astros currently and in real life he might end up leaving at the end of the season in free agency so they might not even have the top their first their uh three number one overall picks from the most recent season so it's kind of crazy to think about but um let's let's go take a quick look at Mark Capel one more time 69 overall of course that's nice 22 years old and so far so good so what I'll do is maybe towards the end of the year when they still have all their stats I'll try to look at them before we get to the postseason and that way we can see his full season kind of get an idea of where he's at all right so the the minor league season is over and I'm actually interested to see wait Oh, he's up to triple a he's up to a 73 overall okay oh he got moved up to triple a all right there we go so 22 games started 126 innings pitched 136 hits allowed and i looked at his career stats and he actually was pretty even with innings pitched and hits so that's why you know the hits per nine are a little low but when you take a look at the rest of the season though the era is not too bad the whip a, a little high but again not terrible no quirks okay so attributes you can see he's still going up which is good to see the control numbers all the per nines and i mean in no time he should be in the bigs for sure i would think i mean he's got to compete with a couple guys i mean they look like they're carrying 97 pitchers in their team anyways so i mean maybe maybe not too soon or not too far away let's see if he's moved up anywhere in the the top prospects charts did he i don't think he did is he even considered a top prospect anymore did they take him out because i don't see any any astros am i blind oh there he is he went down actually to 30 because wasn't he in the mid 20s before so he actually moved down a little bit uh-oh uh-oh maybe he's maybe uh maybe he just uh not as good as he used to be we'll have to wait and see maybe because he's on a cold streak it'll be interesting to see where things go from here so let's get to the postseason let's see if things go for go well for the triple a doesn't look like it did they oh did they not make the postseason for triple a yeah it doesn't look like it okay so there it is season two in the books for marco pell let's continue to see what happens i think the next step is going to be when he hits the major so let's let's sim a season let's see what happens and we'll check in again all right so i was going to check in with marco pell because we're at the midway point of season three and he's still not in the majors you can see you know he's up to a 76 so he's still growing pretty quickly but i saw the mlb stats category pop up or the tab whatever you want to call it and i was like oh pitched twice five innings 3-1-8 era and a one whip so he he's got his first mlb experience and you can see so far in triple a again oh wait yeah that's last year so a pretty comparable season to what he had last year as well so okay first mlb experience i also wanted to see if he made the all-star game i don't i don't want to play it but i guess that's like the only way i'm going to be able to see if he does make the the all-star game so let me let me see here what would he be in i just want to see the roster let's see did he make it he did not that is unfortunate unfortunate um so yeah there it is there we go so far so good for season three okay so 91 and 71 the astros made the postseason and i'm bringing this up because marco pell has made the mlb roster so i went to look at his triple a season and it was gone and it was because he was in the majors because when i saw the triple a season when it was over i was like you know what let's take a look see where he is and they full send him to the full sent everything they were like you know what major leaguer now so as you can see 73 innings pitched and uh, it's going okay you know he's, he's getting roughed up a little bit but not too bad so overall i'd say it's going pretty well again no quirks yet but it'll be interesting to see what starts happening with them now it looks like he's kind of in in the rotation he's one of the better starters in the team so we've got a postseason game i'm not really worried about this unless i see the name mark capel pop up which is he still a rookie i would assume so right so who won rookie i mean it's gonna take a lot for him to win rookie of the year holy cow it was all all orioles this year all orioles so i think he's he might actually be out of the rook is it 100 innings pitched for rookies for pitcher um let's see here when is a pitcher no longer considered a rookie i gotta figure that out let's see what is it for rookie eligibility there we go we gotta find it so yeah 50 innings pitched so yeah he's definitely 
not a rookie anymore. So unfortunately, no rookie of the year nomination for Mark Appel. But let's let's see how this postseason goes. They get eliminated. It doesn't matter. All right, Mark Appel is headed to the offseason. I'm assuming season I'm assuming season four is gonna be a full MLB season for him. All right, season four. Not really worried about all this stuff, but let's go take a look and see that Mark Appel is not in the rotation. Clear service time manipulation, and um, he's down here in Triple A. So I'm assuming he'll get called up once you know Luis Garcia or Forrest Whitley doesn't perform adequately. But you know what? It's okay. He'll definitely be in the lineup. I'm not too worried about it. Let's get it. Let's get into it. Okay, so first season in the books, or I guess I shouldn't say first season, and again, he didn't really pitch a lot more. I was going to say like first full MLB season, but they only gave him six games, which was half of what they, or a little bit less than half of what they gave him last year. Pretty similar in terms of number, like production, ERA, whips, that kind of stuff. You know, 33 strikeouts isn't too bad, um, but it's okay, right? It's okay. He's up to an 82. 24 years old too so he's still pretty young and you can see you know obviously he's improving by quite a bit so um again no quirks and the team doesn't perform well i mean they're not doing well they're not in the postseason and looking at the team you would expect more so we'll have to wait and see what happens so i'm excited to see we're only in season four i think i'm getting lost now i'm pretty sure it's season four Two in the two in the bigs plus two in the minors. Yeah, exactly. Two. So four seasons total. Only has 0.122 MLB service time. So, I mean, he's got to start in the bigs next year, right? You would think they would do that. You can't. You can't send him down again, right? That'd be terrible. So let's get into it. Let's get into 2025. See what happens. All right. I think the Astros are really are really trying to just send Marco Pell away or just really trying to screw him over here. Long relief roll. They went on got Corbin Burns. Come on, Corbin Burns is a good pickup, but let get rid of somebody. Get get rid of who? Framber's actually not doing too bad. Get rid of Lance McCullers is doing pretty good too. Uh, Force Whitley, you're gonna let me? You're gonna you're gonna look me in the face? You're gonna tell me Force Whitley deserved the job over Mark Appel? Come on, garbage, garbage. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what happens. All right, a division win for the Astros. Let's see where Mark Appel's sitting. He is always in the rotation. 88 overall. Ooh. That's looking nice. Ooh, that's looking real nice. I mean, this guy's going to take over the league soon. 27 starts, 12 and 7 record, two holds. All right. This guy's doing it all. Just give him a couple saves while you're at it. So the hits still a little bit of a problem, but the ERA and the whip has dropped. He's got the Yeah, okay. Those numbers are looking good. It's looking like he's really he's he's really going to take over the league now. Still only 25 years old team control for you know the rest of eternity but we're, we're looking good here mark appel i think this is what we're look this is what the astros wanted when they drafted him not what they got so yeah we'll we'll keep moving forward and i guess we could have yeah let's let's take a look i guess we didn't even i haven't even checked to see awards or anything and it was a waste of time but that's okay four five seasons in the books not too bad i completely forgot they were in the postseason they got eliminated asap by the the yankees so it, it wasn't important all right that's so don't worry about it okay so we, we skipped the season we're gonna jump to 2027 and any awards delivery man of the year that's not what i'm looking for what do we got here mark Appel up to a 94 but the era and the whip what why what what's what's the deal here i mean the hits the hits are pretty high like i'll, I'll give you that one that one's yeah, I mean, walks a little high too, but I mean, you look at those per nines. His hits per nine were one is one of the lowest hits. Like he was at like 40. He's already one of the highest per nine stats that he's got. Everything else looks really good. What is the issue? We have the sniper, unbreakable, and grounded quirk. 27 years old, got a few years left on the arbitration, but overall, I I mean, yeah, the ERA and the WHIP is a little high, but. Okay, 94 overall. I, I definitely think it's gonna it's gonna turn around. It's gonna turn around for sure. So I figured I'd uh, do a little check in now, you know, just because you know, give them a couple years to develop. 27 years old, still 94 overall. I mean, is it exciting stuff? No. Do I think he could be a little bit better? Definitely. So let's let's keep moving forward. They're in the postseason, and with one of the better records in baseball, I figured, you know, things would be looking good, right? So the Royals. Ooh, he loses that game. That's disappointing. And they get defeated by the Royals. Oh, what? 
Let's go take a look at this Royals lineup. I'm I'm intrigued now. Hold on. Bobby Witt, okay. Bobby Dahlbeck. Hampson is a beast, apparently. You got Schwarber, who uh, in real life absolutely mashes baseballs right now. But where is this team just taking over the league? Sixto, Trevor Rogers, John Means, Francisco Morales, who who is Francisco Morales? Is is he a real life individual? We, I gotta check this out. Francisco Morales, he is. He's part of the Philly system. Oh, okay. So, okay. There, there, there's that answer. I mean, the bullpen looks pretty decent, also. Okay, okay, Royals. I see you. I see you taking over the league really quickly, winning, winning a World Series. It wasn't the Yankees. I saw the Dodgers were there for sure, though. So, okay. 2027. It's going okay. I definitely think it could be better for Mark Appel, but it's definitely going better than what happened in real life. Okay, so next year, Astros don't make the postseason, but someone had their best season so far at 358 ERA. I mean, look at those per nines. Ooh, looking nice. So 13 and 14. So the wins and losses aren't there. I don't care about those. 200 innings pitched. The ERA, the whip is looking good. Even the walk or the hits. The hits per nine actually kind of even out to what they normally are. But the walks went down. Earned runs, I guess, went down to, yeah, they went down, obviously, and then the home runs are about the same, but, I mean, the quirks are going through the roof, and, pff, I'm just, look, look at those per nines, those are nasty, those are so good, no awards or anything, no league leading stats, unfortunately, but, you know what, he's, he's turning into just an ace, and he becomes a free agent very, very soon, so I'm expecting big things from him. So I think the next stop will be once he becomes a free agent, unless the Astros like get to a World Series or something. Just because I feel like I feel like it's a good point to just kind of wait and see if he signs with a new team or if that you know maybe the Astros let him walk again. You know they just don't like their first round picks so, or first overall picks. So who knows what's gonna happen? But uh, I'm interested to see what does happen. Went to check the league leaders in 2028 and look ERA shutouts complete games innings pitched and whip but he didn't win cy young no shot he wasn't even in the running what how what 213 innings pitched 179 hits which okay whatever whatever but almost 200 strikeouts a 286 era and a 1.1 whip and he didn't win Cy Young. I gotta, I gotta see the, I gotta see the stats for these guys. All right, so we have less innings pitched, more strikeouts. Okay, cool, you got more strikeouts, but the WHIP was higher, the ERA was higher. Okay, what else do we got for this guy? Okay, the WHIP was kind of nasty for him, but less strikeouts. I, you, you gotta give the guy the, the award. That, that's just he got robbed. He got robbed. He, oh man, I, I gotta give him it. I gotta give him a Cy Young this year. That's just he's 99 overall. He put up Jacob Degrom esque numbers in terms of ERA and WHIP. I mean, I know Jacob Degrom does it better, but like, okay, maybe maybe like a Kershaw, maybe like a Kershaw. But like, what? You, you gotta give him. The, you gotta you gotta give it to him. You gotta give it to him. I mean, that's that's highway robbery right there i mean his per nines are nasty by the way 29 years old i think he becomes a free agent next year i could be wrong though but just absolutely robbed i can't believe it i can't believe it he just got robbed he got absolutely robbed unreal obviously he's not gonna retire let's keep going he is yeah he's got arbitration this year so i wanted to check in because i saw that obviously he had all those league leading stats and then of course he got robbed by the cy young Come on, of the Cy Young, I should say. So let's hop to next year. Let's see where he signs. Okay, so before he heads into the off season, I wanted to take a look and see, again, any awards? No. I mean, okay, this time makes a little bit more sense, right? We got two people with sub three ERAs. I mean, he had a really good season again, still 99 overall. I mean, a couple things are going up. Something went down and a pretty comparable season to what he's been doing. You know, the ERA is still really good. The whip's still really good. It's just the strikeouts are what's holding him back compared to what, you know, the Cy Young winners are getting. So, still 99. I'm assuming he's going to get paid. He's 30 years old. And, I mean, things are looking good. Things are looking good. 
Astros are in the postseason and they're eliminated by the Royals once again. What a surprise. So time to see if Marco Pell stays with the Astros or if he goes to a new team. And he is going to, let's see here, move to the next date. And I think, I think he signed with them. He did. Max Deal. Yeah, max deal for eight years. What is that? Four, nine years. Good God. that That's nine years, right? Uh, I wish I could see completed transactions. That'd be nice. But okay, that's the big deal right there. Holy cow. Max deal. I'm pretty sure that was nine years. I tried to just quickly count it. It could be eight. I don't know. But okay, staying with Astros. Fast forward a few years. Mark Capel back at the top. Wins, shutouts, complete games, innings pitched, and whip. And I don't care about the offensive numbers. I'm all here for Mark Appel. He better win Cy Young. There it is. There it is. Man, talk. There, fine, finally, 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 finally. Um, so we're in the year 2033, 33 years old. So this is probably about the, the time where he'll start to fall down a little bit with the, the attributes. You know, also the 10-year service time thing. But you know what? I mean, this is a pretty good career. I mean, he's an easy... Had his best season at the age of 33, 248 ERA, one whip almost, strikeouts around 200. I mean, this is a good career. Yeah, the wins and losses may not reflect it, but you know what? Jacob deGrom's kind of got the same thing going on. He may not have the most wins and losses, but the dude knows how to pitch. And I mean, at 97 overall, finally gets his Cy Young. And I mean, he's still probably, oh, he's actually lost a couple quirks, but he's still going to get paid too. So there's that. I mean, they're in the postseason. He hasn't had the best postseason record. I'm pretty sure he's only won like one game and there's another one that he does lose. And will they make it past? Oh, they do make it past uh, the, the Blue Jays moving on to the Red Sox now. And did he get the win? He got the win. All right. And here we go into the World Series. Taking on the Giants. He gets the dub. They lose the second one. That's That's not a good one. Oh, defeat in the World Series. Oh, no. You hate to see it. World Series MVP or playoff MVP was Riley Green. Oh, man. That's tough to see. Mark Appel. Unfortunate, unfortunate. But Cy Young winning season in 2033. At least that's a highlight, right? 2034. And I just kind of want to do another check-in. We're, you know, just the next season. Whatever. He's going down once again. So we've, we've definitely seen his peak. He was 99 overall. Still really good. Had another really good season though. 30.56 ERA, 1.22 whip. I compared him to his teammates. I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe he could win a Cy Young award. We got the notification for the award and who won it? Steven Gonsalves. Who didn't start a single game, finished 14 and one, fair. You know what? Not too bad, but a 4.66 ERA and a 1.5 whip. Excuse me? I mean, even this guy deserved it more. Look at the ERA, the, the whip, the strikeouts, almost 200. Give it to Jimmy Mora. That's who deserves it. But Mark Appel's still putting up really good numbers. That's really what I want to point out. And on top of the fact that the Cy Young Award is absolute garbage in MLB The Show and whatever. So, yeah, Mark Appel, I, I mean, I'm, I'm down. I'm down with him being like a really good pitcher. This was, this was actually, it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy about it. So I think he's got one more shot to beat the Royals. I think he's 0 for 2 or 0 for 3 against the Royals. All right, chuck, chuck up another loss against the Royals. The Royals just have Mark Appel's number. It's done. And I have a feeling I'm going to, I'm going to hold off for a few seasons to check in just because we're at the down portion of his career let's just wait it out see what happens maybe he gets traded or something crazy happens but for now i think we, we've seen the best of mark Appel. it's only gonna get bad so yeah we'll, we'll let, let's take a quick look just to kind of get an idea of where he's at stat wise and like everything so 349 era 1.2 whip that that's a solid career for a pitcher especially over how many games started 341 games started 350 games that he's made an appearance in 2000 innings pitched i mean i'd be pretty happy with that you know a 37.4 whip that's a whip war 37.4 war so i i mean that's a that's a strong career for a pitcher 100 percent. so like i said he's still got quite a few years left on the deal but there's that so far i lied we're doing another check-in 
2035 Mark Appel Cy Young winner didn't expect this I'm not gonna lie they even got him rocking the old school Astros unis love to see it I mean the the dude's balling the dude is balling I, I I I okay I'll take it he's cold too which is wild 17 and 8 on the year almost 200 innings pitch the guy's a workhorse the guy's a workhorse for sure the strikeouts are down way down holy cow but you know what there's another Cy Young that's two that's two in the books should be three but he got robbed of one so I'm gonna say three but hey I, I was expecting to sim a few seasons in the future he even led the league in wins I'm pretty sure that's what really gave him the win. Yeah, he led the league in wins. So there it is. Cy Young number two in the books. Okay, so we're in the last year of his uh, contract. Not his career. It could be his career, to be honest. He's, what, 39, 69 overall. Kind of almost to the point where he was getting called up to the majors. But um, you can see he's at 194 wins. It'd be really cool to get him 200. I feel like if he were to get 200 and he could keep that ERA around the 3-5 mark, maybe he'd be someone that could make the hall of fame but I, I don't see him getting any mlb time and i feel like this is kind of the end of the road i know it kind of sounds like he's getting put down which sounds terrible but this is this is kind of the end of his career right he's he's 39 almost 40 years old he's had a really good career like if you you look at those numbers that's a really strong mlb career and i was looking at some of the other hall of famers and i was trying to see like kind of who who he kind of matched up with and I'm, I'm looking around it and I, there's a possibility that with the numbers that he currently has he could make the Hall of Fame but at the same time I just I just don't know it's it's one of those where I feel like he'd kind of be he would need like a lot of he would he would need some help to get into the Hall of Fame so I'm not saying that he isn't a really good pitcher based on this simulation but I feel like it, it would be a close one it's it's really a coin flip if he does make it or not so let's see if he actually even made the mlb squad considering that the houston astros are about to make the postseason i could maybe try to sneak him into the postseason squad just to just to do it for like the last year since i mean holy cow the astros are really good and it'd be kind of cool to see him in the team so i want to see if they even gave him any innings at all they did not so let me see if i can sneak him into the team Ooh, we can was there a pitcher that did really bad like that guy get him out and let's get into the postseason and hopefully they don't kick him off the team doesn't matter because he got he got uh the team got uh what's it called knocked out they didn't give him any innings oh it's tough it's tough so let's see here does he retire this season that's that was one thing that i was kind of talk like that's why i hopped into this season he didn't wow there's no shot another team picks him up right there's just no way he's 62 overall there's not there's not a chance okay it seemed like it was gonna be forever 2043 he finally retires and i mean his age is higher than his overall i feel like that's a sign that you probably should retire but yeah it, it's been it's it's been a bunch right like it's been <laughs> four seasons five seasons since he's played in the bigs and uh, you know what I'm, I'm still pretty impressed with the numbers that he was able to put together for his career almost 200 wins you know a really good era a really good whip the war is at 44.6 which let's, let's take a look here uh leaders, pitchers war leaders pitchers let's see here career for pitchers so obviously you have like you know roger clemens who's at like 138 but 40 what was it 44.6 i think that's what it was right 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 44.6 puts him 142 he's actually pretty close to what john lester has 44 point yeah oh yeah 142nd john lester has 44.2 so that's kind of where and chris sale currently has 45.6 so that's kind of where he's sitting with his war compared to like other pitchers so i mean again do i think he's a like a hall of famer eh, you know you know when you look at like justin verlander who has a 73 or a 7, 72 war kershaw's at a 68 almost a 69 same thing with granky so like i don't i don't really know if he would be considered a hall of famer does did he have a really good career of course that's that's a, a really solid career so Hey, I, f I feel like we, we made him 
you know, the number one bust to being one of the number one pitchers in the league for sure. And I feel like that was a really good re-sim or, you know, a, re a redo of a career or not making him a bust. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, if you did, hit the like button. That's the easiest way to show me some support. I felt like it was kind of cool to talk about, you know, some draft pick or a draft pick considering the draft is not too far away. And on top of that, you know what? It, it's cool to do a different video compared to this, the normal rebuild. So I hope you enjoy it. If you did, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And of course, get in the comment section. Let me know some other busts. We could do some more videos. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.